Let's end this! Yeah! Silent! The only thing that will end here is your life here! Welcome to the realm of legendary Yak Way! Hey guys, what's going on? This is Legendary Yagling, and today is the day. It is the 12th of March, and I will announce who is the winner of the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Season Pass. Now, before we go down here, I'd like to thank everyone who's actually put their hard work and creativity into drawing the best pieces that they can come up with. I am, <laughs> I was really ecstatic about a lot of the work that you guys have done. It, it really got me excited, you know, I, I thought it was really, really awesome and well done. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. So, the first entry is, uh, this is a sprite of my character. It has, uh, the base form, the, this was a, this was a form from, like, long ago. Back in, like, uh, I, I think it was before last year, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, this was my sacred Super Saiyan for me, and we have the Grand Super Saiyan 4 right here. I thought that that was really, really awesome. That was really cool. This one right here, this one came up, like, really quickly for how detailed it is. It's, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my god, like, look at this. Like, <laughs> he has his own art style. He, he's, he gives us the scene. It just looks like a beautiful work of art. It looks really, really beautiful, and and it's it's drawn like in a a drafty type of way, but it, it looks really, really good. It actually motivated me. I want I want that battle damage uh, armor, that Saiyan armor. It looks really awesome. It motivates it motivates me to make a Saiyan armor like that, and also actually maybe change my character up a little bit. That's actually why I have kind of been working on my character a little bit. But uh, yeah, this is really, really good. It's really, really good. And we have this one from Jack. This is the power of a god. I am legendary Yagwang. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and we have this one from Tyler. The the art looks really really professional. Um, like like it looks clean, you know. But like the the thing with me, you know, is um, it's like I did say like you know you can kind of add more characters, but it kind of looks like they're like. Like they kind of look like they don't go together, so that that's one like little critique that I would say. Um, other than that, it's still like an awesome piece. It's just that you know it seems a little bit like characters are put here and here, you know. This is the Super Saiyan Blue. This is the first uh, installment from uh, Rogue Knox, and it's supposed to be a Super Saiyan Blue version of my character. It looks really, really beautiful. I, li I like all the effects and how professional it looks. It looks awesome. This one, this was like this one really caught me um, by surprise how well this guy, um, how accurate he was. You know, now the only thing I would say that he, that is not accurate really about this it would be sort of like the nose and the skin. You know, because my character has the round nose and he has brown skin because he's black. Um, other than that, like, we have an accurate portrayal of my actual scene armor. The gloves are correct, everything, is, it seems correct. And then we go into the transformations. And he actually made a transformation. And then we got Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, and this is just, like, regular Super Saiyan 4. And then we get Grand Super Saiyan 4. You know, he has the hair with the spikes and everything. He really looked at the detail. He really studied the character and made sure it was accurate. And then, this is what really kind of surprised me. He put my style of Super Saiyan 5. Now, if you guys know my, my uh, character styles, I, I actually made my own type of Super Saiyan 5. What I believe Super Saiyan 5 would look like. And they would have no eyebrows. It would kind of be like a blend of Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4. With a... Uh, you know, them kind of like looking more like apish or, you know, with a more gorilla style, you know? I felt like it was more of like a... I wanted them to kind of look more to their um, Uzuru forms, in a sense. Then we go on to Super Saiyan God. You know, you can see he has eyes correct. This dude, he really pays attention to the real details. Super Saiyan Blue. We got a, a Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue. And we got Times 10. This one also. This one also really got me out because I was like wow 
this guy pays attention. This is exactly how my super ultimate Super Saiyan God looks like. He has the red eyes with the the white pupil in between, you know, like and he understands the the rules of how the hair is determined. It basically uses the the regular hair, but it adds like a mullet in the back. That was really awesome. I, I really appreciate uh, a lot of this thought, a lot of thought that's put into this piece right here. This is really awesome, man. Good job. And we have one from uh, Felix. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Um, and it's basically the pose that I put out there. You know, one, like I said, the critique that I would give him is it looked good. The Super Saiyan 4 looks good. It looks just like the pose. But that's the thing. It, it I was kind of looking for something more than like more than like what I've give you guys I want you guys to kind of like give me more of like a scene or a different type of a different way of seeing my character you know your own interpretation or you know just something out there something crazy different you know that's what I was kind of looking for but it, it's still a, a well put together piece it still looks nice this one right here I was like wow oh my god this looks so professional and like <laughs> I got really excited about this now I will have my critiques about this one and it will go towards the accuracy you know um, one thing this is why I praise that guy very well because he got the accuracy down now everybody knows my character has black gloves and he also has the you see by the chest it, it shows like the skin that's not it that isn't shown as you see, my character has like his little, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, <laughs> latex uh, shirt or something, I don't know. But basically, that would be black right there. It's not showing that there. Along with the hairstyle, this is kind of like Super Saiyan 4 from the looks of it. Uh, like Goku Super Saiyan 4, and that's not the correct hairstyle. But um, other than that, it still looks really beautiful. You know, it looks really, really beautiful. This one, I really like this one as well. Now, some of you guys would be like, oh yeah, you know, but it doesn't look, you know, like, uh, very well, um, animated, like, with, well, with the style of the art. You know, I really like the thought that he's put into this, because he put a lot of my mods. He put a lot of my recent mods. He got Zykor, he got, uh, Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, Zamasu, Merge Zamasu, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Majin Vegeta. You got my character in his grand Super Saiyan form, and he got it accurate. You know, uh, as far as like the the armor and everything, uh, of course, no one has their skin color on this, but um, yeah, the hairstyle seems accurate. He got the Goku, Vegeta, Vegito Blue, and we got True Hunt right here. So that was really awesome. I was, I, I really liked it. I got I got some life from this uh, art piece right here. Good job, uh, the real TJ. That that was really awesome. <laughs> And we have the final implementation from Rogue Knox. It looks like he updated it a bit, you know, to kind of make it look more accurate. You know, while this is more accurate, it doesn't look as, um, it doesn't look, I can say, like, it doesn't look as good as the other one because there are certain things that are not there. Like, he had, like, all of the other cool effects on the other one, even though this one is, um, more accurate now. This is more accurate, but he still forgot one thing, and that's the, the shirt part by the chest that's the one thing but other than that this is this is really tough so who is the winner this is really tough because I'll be honest this this one right here would be looking like it would be number one but there are other factors that that, that I look into when it comes to art so I'm going to have to say that the winner is Adib, I think that's how you pronounce his name. This art piece right here, I, I have to give it to him because this is um, <laughs> it, it this just looks all the way around well. Now there are things that are not accurate in this as well. I'll be honest, not like with the gloves and everything, but it's still like it's still a well put together piece. He has my base form and my Super Saiyan four, like he even put like the little rock there. This looks like something I definitely want to put up on my wall. It looks like it was drawn by a, a great artist. You know, like you know, like those manga artists when they draw, they give you those uh, rare, super rare uh, sketch designs of the characters. That's what this looks like. You know, and I really, really like this. I, I really, definitely love this uh, art piece right here. 
So, um, with that being said, I will contact you, Adib. And another thing, guys, everyone who has participated, I want to kind of do something for you guys. Um, so, if you guys are into the Dragon Ball Z Universe community and you're not a Patreon, or maybe even if you are, I think you'll still get some benefit from it. I want to give you guys, I guess you could say, a pack. I want to give you a pack that I'm working on early. Earlier than I would give um, everyone else, you know, as a reward just for participating. Because I don't want to leave you guys for nothing. You guys worked hard on this, you know. So I'm really hoping that you guys are into the PC Dragon Ball Z Universe community because then you guys can get something out of this as well. That's about all I can kind of give. But other than that, uh, Adib is the winner. Congratulations. I will be contacting you soon. So um, with that being said, I will see you guys later.